Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Steve. The story for today is, Where is Jesus? It is based on Luke chapter 2. It's written by Jonathan Shikade and illustrated by Linda Pierce. You've all heard of Jesus, God's own precious son, born unto me, Mary, to save everyone. I raised him in Nazareth. He learned and he knew about God and his word and all that was true. There's Joseph in the back. But when he was 12 years old, I took Jesus down with our friends and with Joseph to Jerusalem town. That week in the city, our bread had no leaven while we sang and we prayed to the great king of heaven. But then it was over, so our hometown group came up, came once more together to Nazareth to troop. There were so many friends and family in dozens, we figured our Jesus was off with his cousins. But when the day ended, our son was not there. I couldn't help crying. Where is Jesus? Where? As fast as my feet could, with Joseph, I hurried once more to the city while horribly worried. During three awful days, we searched without finding. In homes, stalls, and alleys, our failure was blinding. At the end of that time, quite unsure what to do, we went to the temple where my joy sprang anew. Right there with the teachers of God's word so wise, my Jesus was sitting before my own eyes. He wasn't just listening, but answering too, answering the teachers by how he much, by how much he knew. I spoke without thinking, son, why were you here while your father and I sought you both far and near. Why were you out looking? He asked me and my spouse. Did you not know I'd be inside my father's house? Though we were confused by the answer we heard, our Jesus came with us, obeyed our word. And then Jesus grew daily in wisdom and might, while inside I treasured each sound and each sight. I wished I had known then what now very clear. Jesus lives for his Father, serving him without fear. <clears throat> what a great story about Jesus when he was just 12 years old, just a young man. And he knew that being about God's work, about being in God's house, about hearing and learning more and more about God's and his love for us. It was so important to him that he went and he kept listening. My hope is that we continue to do the same, that we continue daily to listen to his words, to listen to what he has to say so that we can be like Jesus, constantly close to God. May God bless you today.